Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. In this video I'm going to teach you how to solve absolute value inequalities. And there are two types of absolute value inequalities. And the first type is when the absolute value of something is less than a number. And I just used A to represent any number. And that's when if the absolute value is less than a number, then your solution is going to look like X is in between the negative value of that number and the positive value of that number. And the second type of absolute value inequality is when the absolute value of something is greater than a certain number. And if the absolute value of something is greater than a certain number, then your solution is going to look like X is less than the negative value of that number or x is greater than the positive value of that number. Uh, so let's just get started with these examples right away. So here we have the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to positive 7. And even though there's an equal sign underneath the, underneath the less than symbol, um, this still qualifies as a absolute value less than example. So if the absolute value of something is less than a certain number, then your answer is going to look like x is going to be in between the negative value and the positive value of that number. So the inside of the absolute value, the 2x minus 5, is going to go in the middle. And 2x minus 5 is going to be greater than or equal to the negative value of our number, which is 7. So the negative value is negative 7. And it is going to be less than or equal to positive 7. Now we need to solve our compound inequality and what we want to do is we want to get x by itself in the middle. Uh, so in order to get x by itself I'm going to get rid of this negative 5 so I'm going to add 5 to all sides of this inequality. On the left hand side we have negative 7 plus 5 which is negative 2. Our sign stays the same which is less than or equal to in the middle are negative 5 and positive 5 canceled out and the only thing we're left with is a 2x and on the right hand side our sign stays the same which is less than or equal to and a positive 7 and a positive 5 give us a positive 12. Once again we want to get x by itself so since this 2 is being multiplied by the x to get rid of it I'm going to divide by 2 and on the left hand side we have negative 2 divided by 2 which is negative 1 we divided by a positive number. We divided by positive 2, so our signs stay the same. Our sign stays less than or equal to. In the middle, our 2's cancel out, and the only thing we're left with is our x. Once again, our sign stays the same, another less than or equal to, and 12 over 2 is 6. So now we have solved our absolute value inequality. x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 6. So let's just move on to our second example. So here we have the absolute value of negative 3x plus 2 is greater than 7. And remember, if the absolute value of something is greater than a certain number, then your solution is going to look like x is less than the negative value of that number or x is greater than the positive value of that number. So since we have the absolute value of negative 3x plus 2 is greater than 7, then the inside of the absolute value, which is negative 3x plus 2, is going to be less than the negative value of that number, and the negative value of 7 is negative 7, or negative 3x plus 2 is going to be greater than the positive value of that number, which is just 7. Now we need to solve both these inequalities separately. So I'll do the one on the left first. We have negative 3x plus 2 is less than negative 7. We want to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. On the left-hand side, the 2's cancel out, and the only thing we're left with is a negative 3x. Our sign stays the same, which is less than. And negative 7 and a negative 2 give us a negative 9. Now I want to get rid of this negative 3 and get x by itself, so since the negative 3 is being multiplied by the x, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. 
On the left-hand side, the negative 3s cancel out, and the only thing we're left with is x. And since we divided by a negative number, we divided by negative 3, the sign flips and switches sides. So instead of a less than, it becomes a greater than. And negative 9 over negative 3 is just positive 3. Now I'm going to solve our inequality on the right. We have negative 3x plus 2 is greater than 7. Once again, we want to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. On the left, our 2's cancel, and the only thing we're left with is a negative 3x. Our sign stays the same, which is greater than. Positive 7 and negative 2 give us a positive 5. We want to get x by itself. x is being multiplied by the negative 3. To get rid of that negative 3, we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. On the left-hand side, our negative 3's cancel out, and the only thing we're left with is a x. Since we divided by a negative number, we divided by negative 3, our sign flips and switches sides, so it, instead of greater than, it becomes less than. And on the right-hand side, negative 5 over 3 cannot be simplified, so you just write it exactly the same. So our answer is x is greater than 3, or x is less than negative 5 over 3. So I hope this video helped you understand absolute value inequalities just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, that's mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, uh, if you like the way I teach and you want to see some more of my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, or like me on Facebook. Uh, that way you can see my videos as soon as I upload them. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.